Hello and welcome to my channel Being You Now. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Today I'm doing a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So if you have Aries placements, this reading is for you, my gorgeous Aries. Aries, can I just say, you guys, you blow me away. I am so very grateful for you. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. If it wasn't for you, Aries, this channel would not be here. I would not be here. I would not be showing up daily. So I just want to take this moment as I have been reflecting on my own journey, my channel and um, all the things. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for showing up, showing out daily and um, for helping and allowing and supporting me to do what I love doing, which is terror um, and doing and bringing these readings to you. So truly we have built an Aries nation, Aries gang, <laughs> um, as some of you call it. Um, most of you Aries Nation is the biggest hashtag that I see on my channel. So thank you. I've got my hand on my heart that you can't see, but I truly, 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 this is my gratitude and appreciation to each and every one of you. Take it as a personal thank you, because it really, truly is. If it wasn't for you, I could not have continued doing, showing up daily and be on this channel. So thank you. I truly, truly, truly value you beyond any words or any any message I can ever sh share and say with you. Now, let's see. What's my Aries energy? Aries, Aries. So many 2024 readings are coming out, Aries. So if you haven't tapped that notification bell and subscribe, now's a great time because there's some epic 2024 reads coming up and also for the festive season. So it's not just for 2024. If you want to know and be in all the things, Spirit is saying that needs to be there. Okay. <laughs> um, then yeah, tap that notification bell. That way also a lot of you asked me about the communities tab. If you are a subscriber and hit the notification bell, you don't need to ask me the question where the communities tab is because you'll, you'll get the notification. It's really that simple. Um, Okay. Temptations. Ooh, I'm loving this deck, by the way. This is one of my brand new additions. And you all know how much I love dancing, dancing emojis. So here we go. Tango. So this is the devil card in the traditional deck. This is, you can see a couple surrounded by a ring of fire and they're dancing. They're dancing tango. So this is about a couple of different things that I want to share with you. The devil card showing up in your reading is saying to me that be careful of temptations that are surrounding you. Every offer that you receive may not be from a place of um, highest and good is what spirit is saying. So it may not be for your highest and best. So use discernment because there may be, you may be thrown in the flames. And the other thing is you can see dance in this dance, there are two people. So this, what happens in dancing? You know, dancing is about two people. When you're making movements, you trust your partner. So they, this temptation card is about trust. Do you trust the offer? Do you trust the person? Do you trust the information and who's delivering that information to you? Because are they throwing you in the fire or is that they're helping you navigate through the fire? That's where the trust element comes in. I'm not saying everything is bad, but it's that balance. Can you really truly trust it? Can you really truly believe in what's in front of you? Is it full information? Because it takes two to tango. That's what this message is really saying in your reading, Aries. Wow, taking a leap of faith. Okay, so with these two cards, um, this is the full card in the normal deck. This this is a Latin, Latin American cultural mysticism deck. So it has different language and wording. So Latin, I'm not Latin. So whilst I'll give my best shot at pronouncing El Bubo. So El Bubo, this is about, you can see he's taking a donkey. This is about whether or not you're going on the, whether or not you will go on the journey. So with this temptation, spirit is saying, will you go on the journey or not? You being the fool showing up in your reading, there could be a Capricorn. Maybe you'll get an invitation from a Capricorn. Maybe there is um, this in a relationship love context, this temptation card could be that Capricorn energy, or you may have Capricorn in your chart. This is also about addictions, by the way. So be careful of that. We are in the festive season, so I cannot ignore the fact that, you know, temptations are at play, more food. Addiction doesn't always have to be substances and alcohol. It can also be things like sugar, more food, you know, 
are we overloading our systems i know i, I have a massive sweet tooth <laughs> so i have to keep my you know I, I i was just thinking this morning that oh, maybe i need to curb my sugar cravings you know it's not is it do i really need all that sugar particularly knowing that we're getting more and more into the festive season you know and there will be more treats and things to devour into anyway just using that as an example now with this full card though there is sun so you might be embarking on something brand new sun card is about brand brand new beginnings but so is the full card for others of you this could be going to warmer climates spending more time in nature um going on a vacation or holiday you tell me as it relates in relates to you in your situation donkeys are a symbol of peace so the other thing is this is about taking a peaceful journey so spending time in nature i mean this is why i love working with different decks this card is very much about the mountains there is no cliff there is no danger this is more there well there is a cliff here but a lot of it is all green nature sun and the donkey the other thing is that he's carrying a load you can see there's the load the resources so at this point in time spirit is with you Archangel Raphael and Michael are with you. You're highly protected and they are surrounding you on these journeys at the moment. So take take this blessing, put it, claim it in comments. You're highly protected and supported. Your angels and the angelic realm are with you at this moment in time as you embark on a journey. So if you are traveling, if you're taking a flight, if you're going on a journey and if you're wondering and stressing out about, oh, you know, will everything will be okay will i be okay will it be safe this is this card is that confirmation i feel like somebody needs to hear it may not be for everybody take what resonates we know the drill leave the rest for somebody else princess of pentacles the reason why i love this deck so this deck has many extra cards many many in terms of four more new cards and the reason for that is that they want to really embrace the duality in terms of um, male female because in the traditional deck we only have the knight and the uh, page whereas here we have the princess so i like that they have the princess and the dame so the princess of pentacles is like your page of pentacles but here you can see she's in her beautiful dress she has a pentacle here and to me this is about you thinking about growing pentacles you can see all these flowers this is about growth this is about building something this is about putting your ideas into action that's going to bring more fruits fruits flowers flourish into something tangible i'm just going to bring that um deck the, the card the booklet so if there is any extra messages i want to share that with you so that you have everything you need from this reading you know how i like to give all the things that's just who i am so this card illustrates a bomberera meaning a woman who sings dances or plays bomba holding a maraca and singing lead vocals in puerto rico there's only one maraca and it should not be mistaken with double instruments from cuba okay so she's holding an instrument which also looks like a pentacle right here Full of self-confidence and talent, she's young, but she already knows what she is worth and how to claim her rightful space. In order to be successful, she has to be consistent. If you do not move the maraca consistently, the sound gets dizzy. She has to fully commit to what she does and in, in this case, into her group. In order to be consistent and remain self-confident, she needs to be determined. It is about loyalty to self and others. Yeah, so this is about if you want to build something, grow something, get something gain something you need to be persistent consistent and show up i'll use my channel i said i'll do aries readings daily so i show up daily that's what i that's my promise to myself and to my viewers and i keep doing that until unless something changes and when it does i'll let you know but for now that's the deal so that's kind of what she's saying you know that be consistent show up do the thing death card oh my gosh what is going on you've got three major arcanas so you have the ability to release temptations so you can put these temptations to bed for somebody i'm definitely seeing that as you walk into 2024 and move away from 2023 you will be letting go of temptations whether it's a substance um sweets could even be people you know you might be addicted to people or you might be addicted to Netflix. I don't know. Whatever the thing might be. 
there are different types of addiction. Some people are addicted to their phone. Before they know it, they're scrolling, 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 hours go by. I know it's a real thing. I've worked with people who have, you know, who I've worked with people with addictions, basically. And one of the addictions is this whole thing about the phone and um, impacting their productivity and ability to show up, you know, fully being present in their family members with their children. It's a real thing. So I'm just sharing with you that for some of you, you know, addictions come in different forms. So it's about releasing yourself from this devil energy, not feeling trapped anymore. So this is really good because here you can literally see he's got his arm around this person. So you're literally freeing yourself. Death is the, you know, you're freeing yourself from this person, place, situation, whether it's addiction, whatever it might be for you. But with the devil card for a lot of you, it could be that it's, you know, maybe you embarking on a much more healthier journey. Um, looking after what you eat, what, watching what you eat, how you show up and all the things. It's There are three people in here though. You can see there are three people here. So for some of you, it could be also a third party situation. If you are in love, um, third party situation could also be in work context where, you, you know, someone is saying something untoward to your boss. Could be a colleague, someone that doesn't have the best interest at heart for you. So take what resonates. We are a large audience. This is a general raid. I need to mention that. Um, yeah, leave it for this person who really needs to hear this message. Okay, so this death card. This card represents the legend of the death of Spanish conquistador Diego Salcido. Now, my pronunciations may be definitely off because I know that sometimes the Y's, the L's can be pronounced differently depending on the region and country and all the things. All the hands of the Tianos in the Rio Grande de Anasco in 1511. His death proved to be a pivotal moment for the Tianos after which they rebelled against the Spaniards. The Temi deity of Makaritua Guabua, the sweet bat who guides souls to the underworld, is painted as the Petroglyph on the rock. Maraquitore Quaram Quayamba is waiting for Diego Saldijo's soul so it can guide him too. Meaning of this card. This card is about the transition and signifies big and important change in life. It is a sign to trust what is coming next, to have faith and to be flexible. This card can trigger some fear, but note if the person overcomes their fear and allows the transformation process to take place, the results will be as sweet as the Gayaba fruit. This card is a sign to meditate on what no longer serves you. Something is coming to an end. It is a transition into a new possibility. A new door is opening for you. Focus on walking toward the door. Pass through it and do not look back. Our lives can transform for the better if we trust the process. Yep. It's all about transformation and change. You have four major arcanas in a five card spread. No wonder no more cards came out. The strength card is your final card. So you have the strength to go through this um, transition. And I like this. This is the modern strength card. And look, normally in the traditional deck, you see a woman has her hand in the lion's mouth. Here, she's got the chain. Okay, take or leave that. But she's in a modern attire in front of a huge castle. So let's see. What's this strength card about? And as I said, I am not Mexican, Spanish, or Latino, so I the spe the pronunciation is definitely off and will be off. Take the message. This is not an English or Spanish lesson. I need to say that because sometimes people go so crazy in comments. It's like, are you serious? <laughs> okay, this card depicts a woman in a line at El Castello. Serralis in Ponchi. Puerto Rico. The line is associated with his town and his beloved basketball team is named Las Leones de Ponchi. This card breaks stereotypes by showing strength embodied not in muscles and brawn but in patience and calm. The line underestimated her power when he approached so now it is under her control. The luminescent or infinity symbol that floats above her head illustrates that her wisdom and potential have no end. In a love romantic relationship reading, this card may indicate that one with a stronger feminine energy is the dominant person of the two. It can symbolize the type of person who likes to be in control and even intimidate intimate moments. In a sunny day, meaning that the person is doing the right thing and going in the right direction. A person who is perhaps getting out of a tough phase in life and finally able to take control of their life. I mean, 
a lot of this whole reading is about you freeing yourself from whatever this devil is for you negative thoughts patterns addictions people places relationships situationships whatever the case may be and embarking on a brand new journey and having the strength and resilience to embark on this journey and being persistent and consistent as you embark on this journey i mean that's basically the whole reading in a nutshell and yes there's four major arcanas in a five card spread why is that because this is a pretty big ending and beginning for some of you it has taken a lot of resilience courage and persistence and patience although there is no temperance card i feel with this journey it has been a long journey to get to this point and that load has really weighed you i.e the donkey and you've had to make stops maybe stops starts and restarts for some of you but you're there and what spirit is saying is that the sun is shining you have what it takes the strength the resilience the courage now is the time to open your heart leo energy so you might be having leo placements or dealing with the leo i mean we have aries capricorn leo scorpio showing up strong in this raid so those those are the signs that are showing up so you take what resonates i'm going to pull a card from the heart oracle one card for aries please one card please only one card so many cards want to come out one card one card please spirit one card for my aries i don't make it up card number one hurt heart so for a lot of you this could be to do with love or someone you love could also be family if it's not romantic i'm picking up a big karmic cycle for the love folks take what resonates you know your story this is a general read hurt heart i see you dear hurt heart i see you carry lots of sadness inside you that is very easy for you to take things personally and try to self-protect you feel so scared little and vulnerable inside that you have needed an armor of spikes to protect you at times people see you as cold and calculating but in fact you are so tender and sensitive that if your armor was taken off you could simply bleed out i know this is not necessarily how you started but all the rejection humiliation neglect and cruelty has deeply wounded you i see you i feel your pain is deep i know there are many case cuts and scars all over your heart and that you have been hurt and you have hurt but it is a vicious cycle now is the opportunity to look back on the hurt heart story it's time to cry the tears that have been frozen and start to bring more light to the buried pain i promise to start to nourish you with gentle soft caresses love kindness and warmth imagine your healing imagine taking out this heart, hurt part of your heart and holding it in your hands visualizing green healing light and send your heart this light of healing strength and loving kindness funny the word strength came up speak to your heart, hurt heart and let it know that it can be whole wise and expanded visualize taking out any symbolic spikes representing the hurt it has suffered and place them in the imaginary purple fire with the intention of letting go of all pain then send your heart emerald green energy with intention of rejuvenating it keep doing this process until you feel whole now for those of you i am doing that are interested i'm doing a full moon ritual in, for december this is where we let go of whatever that we no longer want but more focusing on our manifestations and intentions for 2024 if you desire to be part of that the information is in the community tab or you can comment below hashtag full moon i am offering very unique readings for 2024 where i will be looking at all three areas which is something that i not don't don't normally do um so this will be love career money all three areas i will be pulling card on all three cards on all three areas in the 2024 reads so if you'd like to book a private read connect with me on social media come to bali all the information is in the description box the thing to remember is depend like if you book your readings before we get into the holiday season your readings will be sent to you otherwise i am also taking a break i deserve a break so um you will still be getting your reads i haven't decided what i'm doing or how i'm going to do that but at the moment my intention is still to get you your daily readings 
so let me know in comments do you do you care to see your readings daily readings um for during the festive season or you don't really care and if you're taking time off because that way i can also take time off um i will be taking time off but then i don't you know if if not many people are watching this um it's best not best for me not to do the reads so i just want to get an understanding of where's my aries at you are my you know because of you i have this channel because of the aries collective i'm in aries i want to serve the aries collective so um yeah let me know in comments but if you desire a personal read i will be taking a break if you want your reading before the year is out now's the time to book because when i'm on break you won't be getting your reads until the new year so this is something special i'm offering for 2024 specifically um, the normal readings i do offer is on one specific topic to do a deep dive these readings are more overview what's coming for you what, what you know empowering you for 2024 on all three areas so that's something i wanted to offer that was downloaded to me by spirit if you and og you know everything i do in my world and on my channel is through that and um, again personal reads is an interesting one i am offering personal reads but i will be stopping that so if you desire a personal read now is a great time to book um, I am offering it for 2024 right now. For how long? Not sure. So if you desire one, info in description box. And Bali, yes, you know, I've made a decision. Those that feel the call to Bali, because look, Aries, we know the drill, right? They're the ones that show up and then there's the one that show up. <laughs> and then there's the one that actually show up. So for me, whether you come to Bali or not, that's no skin of my nose because I'm going to go to Bali regardless. I wanted to do something epic and amazing and share it with people that are on the same spiritual journey and path or on or embarking on a spiritual journey and path. I know everyone's journey is different. I know everyone's at different phases of their journey. I understand all of that from my own journey, which has been which which has been for a very long period of time. I'm not going to share and get into the detail and bore you with it, but I know the phases. And one thing I appreciated for sure was being around people that got me, understood me and were on a similar path to me. And that really helped me to expand, accelerate, ascend on my own journey and help me to get closer and closer to my authenticity and truth and alignment. So this is the reason why I'm sharing this, because when I was looking for these sorts of things many years ago, there were very few things, few and far between things available. Can you get a tour to Bali? Yes. Can you get lots of different tours? Yes. Will it be the same kind of tour? No. I'm not packing people like sardines on a bus with 40, 50 people and ticking off like a grand checklist. No, this tour is about nourishment of mind and nourishment and connection of mind body soul and a very bespoke itinerary which i have designed myself with things that you might not get in a normal tour so i'm going to be very clear upfront and transparent there's a lot of work i'm doing behind the scenes and which is why it's only open to a very select number of people because we are not pe packing people like sardines i want everyone to have a good time because we're there for a good time, short time together. And that is a lot of fiery energy because um, Aries is the, we are going to be there in Aries season. And the most number of emails I'm getting is from people who are celebrating their birthday in March and April. So there's a lot of thought that has gone into curating a very bespoke itinerary and stops and all the things. And um, yeah, to be honest, I don't need to do this i can just go off and have my holiday but i wanted to offer this because i know how difficult it has been for my aries and the journey you've embarked on and i know the importance of having these types of support pockets opportunities available and how much difference it can make to somebody because it definitely has to me in my own journey so i wanted to hold that space for the i want to hold that space for those that are called to be part of this journey Aries, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. Tap that subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell because there's some epic readings coming if I can 
if I say so myself, because they are epic and next level. If you haven't already seen that, well, I don't know, you might be missing some things because you haven't subscribed and hit the bell. And uh, remember, the power that is you by being you now. And I will see you 